It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, folks. Today I'm taking a look at a solitaire-only game about roasting coffee, and it's called, appropriately enough, Coffee Roaster. In Coffee Roaster, you are going to be uh, building a bag. It's a bag-building game where you put tokens in a bag, you pull them out, manipulate those tokens, and then whenever you feel you are ready, you are going to pull some tokens from that bag towards a scoring and see how you did. Um, the game is kind of tricky to explain, so let me give you a bit of an overview here, and uh, then we'll come back and I'll tell you if I think it's a good solo game. To get ready to play, you are going to put out the board with some uh, some tokens on it. You are going to figure out if you want to play the full game or the uh, shorter one-round game instead of three rounds. And then figure out what brews you want to work on. It gives you, the game comes with quite a few of these. They're all double-sided as well. And so, you know, you also have over here on the side, you can do beginner level or advanced or expert level. And so for now, I'll just pick one of these easy ones and we'll take a look at how this works, okay? But basically, once you know how to play one round, the if you play the full game, it's the same thing. You just do all this three times, add up your scores for each round, all right? So, the way to set this up is you're going to take your handy-dandy bag here, and you are going to put all of the tokens that it tells you here in the middle in the bag. So in this case, 14 beans at zero. You're going to get uh, some moisture in there, two moisture. You're going to get one bad bean there. You're going to get two that are not matured yet. Uh, some body, some acidity, and some aroma tokens. And the total for all these will be 26. So once you've set that up, you are ready to begin. Now that the bag is ready, let me give you an overview of how the game goes turn to turn. And then at the end, I'll give you an explanation of the scoring, which all happens over here. So let me remove this board for now. We'll just take a look at the main board while you're playing. Each round is quite simple and you're going to take as many rounds as you want to. Uh, when you're ready to stop, you stop and go to scoring. And the round has basically three parts. The first thing you do is you are going to grab from the bag here a number of tokens depending on the uh, red marker here. Then you are going to, from those tokens, you can deploy some of them to this side of the board to take specific actions once per game. Then you can choose uh, to trigger some tokens for their special power, and the spent ones would go over here. And if you fill in an entire row, then you get a special bonus for scoring. And then after that, everything that's left over in your pool, you roast it, which means all the numbers go up, and then you throw it all back in the bag and take another turn if you want to, all right? So very quickly, let's take a look at that. I'm gonna draw nine tokens from here because of where the red uh, marker there is. And I'm just gonna make a pool of those in front of myself. So here I've got six, and uh, three more is what I need. There we go, three more. And now, I get to, uh, again, take actions on this side of the board. Before that, any moisture immediately is removed from the game, so that I have a smaller pool. The different actions over here are, I can put a one and a zero here. Once I have both, I get this wild token. Here, if I put one of the body tokens, I get to draw two more tokens, add them to the pool. Here, any one of them, so body or uh, the acidity or the aroma, lets me redraw basically pull two and throw two uh, throw two back in and pull two new ones this one if i put aroma here i pull five tokens and from those five throw away two and put the other three back in the bag and then finally down here i get to one time remove all the bad stuff that's in my pool so for example if i did that now i would get rid of this bad bean that could possibly cost me a couple of points at the end of the game all right so once I've done all of that, and I can choose to do that or not, then I may choose to activate these tokens for their built-in power. Okay, uh, body, acidity, and aroma. The body is very simple. You have to take two tokens and combine their totals into a single new token. So for instance, let's say I pull the one and the two, I can spend one of these body tokens and get rid of both of these, replace them with a three. 
and I put this back in my pool, and the spent body token goes somewhere over here towards a bonus. The um, aroma is basically the exact opposite of that. If I have a three, I can break it up into a one or a, a, into a one and a two and put those in my pool. And then acidity basically keeps something from continuing to roast. So I'll set two tokens aside with the acidity and that'll keep them from becoming, this two becoming a three and the one becoming a two respectively, all right? So that's basically it. Once I've done all this, let's say I do, um, uh, I triggered a this one for a drawing two more tokens, for example. I, you know, grab two more tokens. All right, that's fine. I'm going to use uh, this one down here to get rid of this bad bean. Once that's all done, then everything that's still left, and this is the last step, then gets roasted. So these six tokens become six ones. They're all zeros. So I'll replace them all with ones and I'll get rid of the zeros and I put the ones back in my bag. So let's do that. They get thrown back in here and this token moves up, it's the next turn, all right? And again, I can choose to stop whenever I, I want to and go to the scoring. There are a couple of rounds here where two things happen. You throw some smoke into the bag, which is bad, and every uh, the roast level of everything in your pool goes up two instead of just one. That's it. Let me give you a, a look at the uh, scoring, and then you'll have a pretty good idea of how the game works. So I'm finally done brewing and I'm ready to score. I'm going to throw everything back in the bag. I'm going to start pulling tokens one at a time, and I am hoping to fill this up here with a convenient set of tokens. And I have some trace space over here that I can throw away things uh, that come up and I don't want to score. Again, I'll talk about the special powers in just a minute. But let's say I shuffle the bag, I pull a two, I could place that there, or again, I could place it here if I want to throw it away. I pull again, I get a one, okay, I'll place that there. I pull again, smoke, I will throw that out. Pull again, it's acidity, okay, yes, I'll place that there. I pull again, a one, fine. Pull again, it's a zero, um, I'm going to throw that out, all right? I'm going to pull again, this is a hard bean, it's a bean that never got roasted at all. Um, so I'm going to throw it away as well. I pull again. Good. I got a two. Pull again. Another two. I pull again. It's a body token. That's good. Those are, I, I want acidity and body in my blend. I pull a one. I got a smoke token. Uh, that's not good, but I'm going to have to take it because my tray is filled. And then finally another two there. And that's it. That is 10 tokens. And now I would score based on whatever my blend would like. So, what does the blend want? Uh, and we were on this side here. I wanted to be able to get a, as close to as possible to 14 points because that one gives me 10 victory points. And then the flavor bonus I wanted was a nice balance there. One of each, ideally, is what I was hoping for, okay? We have our handy dandy cheat sheet here. Uh, which tells us how many points we're going to get for flavor and for skill, which I'll tell you about in one second. So let's see how this would uh, play out. By the way, we have our scoring sheet here, which is also included, uh, though I would recommend you photocopy this and then just use that, okay? So uh, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points, and I wanted um, 14, so 11 barely squeaks in, and I get 5 victory points for that. So I would write that on my score sheet. As far as my flavor points, I wanted one of each. I got acidity and I got body. And so this lets me know that if I only got two, then I get three victory points. Six if I'd gotten all three. And there's possibly a fourth uh, type, which I'll talk about in a second, for the full 10 points. And after that comes the skill points where you get points if you have the same level of brewing tokens. In this case, I have three ones, that would get me one victory point, and I have four twos, which would get me two more victory points, and then for this smoke, I would lose a victory point, and that's my total, all right? So, uh, that's how you score. You write that down on the score sheet over here, and then you do it again if you want to play a full game, which is three rounds or you can just play one round and see how you did write that down all right now that's the basic setup of what could happen there at the end 
There's also the special tokens over here on the side. Let me see if I can get these in the shot here. There we go. That you could earn throughout the game, okay? So this one here, the very first one at the top, that one would simply go immediately in that spot and it counts as a three, okay? That's what that one does. The next one, sweetness, would go here and that counts as another type of uh, uh, token towards the uh, the acidity and the body and, and the, uh, the aroma token. So that's how you can get four of the same, of that kind. If I have a body and acidity, a sweetness, and the aroma, that's the four that you would need for something like this. And by the way, if I, assuming this is what happened, I do have three, because sweetness would be the third there. Uh, it's kind of like a wild one, okay? So I would get six points for that. The other tokens here are this one would go there, and for both of the spaces next to it, I could draw two tokens and just keep one instead of having to draw blindly. And then we have this one over here, which is going to let you do some more manipulation at the very end. And then this one here, which extends your tray space to two more tiles you can throw away. All right. So that's basically it. You are trying to manipulate your bag to give you exactly what you want. Pour out the cup of coffee, score, and try to get the highest score possible in Coffee Roaster. At first, I was having a hard time getting into this game. I think it's partly the fact that the game is so, so different from other solitaire games I've played. And that the rule book, you know, from, the rule book's good, but from reading the rules without seeing it happen, it's kind of tricky to, to sort of wrap your head around how the, how the flow of the game is going to go. Once I was able to get past all those things, I found a really interesting, neat game here. I have really been enjoying this. The, the theme is alright, but it's well implemented, so I'll give it props for that. And the manipulation of tokens, the choices you have on your turn, are straightforward enough that you can play at a nice clip, but you do have neat choices, and you do have interesting things you sometimes will go for depending on what's happening in your bag. You'll take um, risks sometimes, knowing that you could possibly pull up a token you don't really want to pull up at the end when you're finally scoring. It's clever. It's interesting. It, it, it's pretty unique, I think. And so this one gets, uh, gets high marks from me. Coffee Roaster came out of nowhere to surprise me, and I'm very happy that it did. A really neat solitaire game and one that I would recommend to uh, folks out there who want something nice and easy, but that's gonna give you some nice tactical choices as well when you wanna play a solo game, all right? So there you have it, Coffee Roaster. Thumbs up from me, try to get your hands on this one, folks. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.